Welcome Dart players one and all today on Straight to the Point we're going to be taking a quick look at the throwing action of Dave Chisnell, affectionately known as Chizzy. And as always we'll start by taking a quick look at his positioning on the Oki which is just over to the right hand side and if we pause right there you can see that the arm and the dark go down one line together, very good alignment. And although it can get quite snatchy and jerky after the release, Dave Chisnell's release is actually very good. Just take a look at how smooth the release actually is and there's not a lot of shoulder in there or elbow movement until the point of release and straight through with the wrist and that dart really does get flicked quite a lot. Other than the flick of the point the throw is very straightforward and so is the rhythm. Straightforward but very effective. Aim, draw back and throw. Aim, draw back and throw. Same all the time. Aim, draw back, throw. And if we look at that bullseye from a different angle Look at how all the excess body movement happens just after he lets go with the dart. Now you see the arm starts to turn, the other arm comes up, the head moves and the arm lifts again. It's quite a lot going on but after the throw. Most dart players couldn't be consistent throwing like that but he's just a natural ball and talent. Everything you need to be a good dart player is there in his throw. Look at the way he flicks through with his wrist now. Really simple. Elbow is so still as well. Let's just take another look at the elbow. So nice and still as he draws back, nice and still as he goes through until he hits 90 degrees. Now this is where the release starts to take place. And there's a little bit of a rise, but not a lot, it's just until the arm is straight. Also take note of the shoulder, again it hasn't moved until he's hit that point. But sometimes when he's not playing too well it does rise a little bit. A good example of him keeping the throw simple to the release is this shot here. If we pause right here, notice how he hasn't pulled the dart at all. The arm has gone straight, the wrist has gone through straight, now after it, look at that pull. If he gets the timing of the throw wrong at all, that dart could go wild. But he doesn't, he's very very consistent with it. Looking at the grip you can see that the first finger is at 12 o'clock, just over the top of the barrel. And the middle of the thumb is around 10 o'clock, with the second finger just under the point. And if you look closely you can see how the first finger releases very very quickly, even before hitting 90 degrees and then it's flicked with the next finger under the point, causing the dart to kick up, so the point goes in the air and the flight goes towards the ground. And this is what causes the dart to sit upright in the board the way he likes, as the air will then hit the flight and cause the dart to flick in the air. This is a really good angle demonstrating that. Just look at how the dart flies. Flicking that point can be very temperamental, but some players like Jizzy just do it really well, and it does help get that dart upright in the board. Due to the angle of entry on his darts, the perfect dart for him is right in the top of that treble 20. Now he can just clatter into the barrel and it makes life a lot easier for him. And the match he played in the quarter final of the 2020 World Championship against Michael Van Gerwen was one of the best displays of darts we've ever seen. But that's it for today, thank you for watching Straight to the Point, please remember to like and leave a comment and as always, subscribe if you love the darts, roll the credits.